guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! I don't know why, but we're going to try this. It was Labor Day weekend, I was 17. I bought a Coke and some gasoline. And I drove off to the county fair. <laughs> yes, there were cows there. When I saw him for the first I, when I saw him for the first time, he was standing there in that ticket line. And it all started right then and there. Oh, a sailor sky made a perfect sunset. And that's a day I'll never forget. I had a barbecue stand on my wet t-shirt. I was killing him in my mini skirt. Skipping rocks on the river by the railroad tracks. I had a suntan line and red lipstick. Worked so hard for that first kiss and a heart don't forget. Something like that. Okay. Hi guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. That wasn't that good. It's a Tim McGraw song. Do you guys like country music? I like country music. So I have a barbecue item. So it made me think of add a barbecue stand on my white t-shirt. But it's a guy singing it. So I changed the words. Anyway, you get it, right? You get it? Thanks, Effingham. Yeah, it was a little low. You're right, Price was saying. Hi. I always do that, don't I? Because like, I start to sing it in the key that it's recorded in. And then if I'd gone, I had a barbecue stand on my white t-shirt. I was killing him in my miniskirt. Anyway, guess what today is, you guys? It's holla for your dollar haul. Holla. Did I say hello? My name is Amy, and this is Bella's Bargains, and you've landed on a Dollar Tree channel, and today is a Dollar Tree haul. Effingham, are we excited? <laughs> yes, we are. How much is everything at the Dollar Tree, Effingham? <laughs> I don't know either, because it's changing. All right, but that doesn't matter, because it absolutely... I know, I'm sorry. Everything that I got here today was a buck twenty-five. So... That's good. So, Effingham, how much was everything today from the Dollar Tree? Dollar and a, and a quarter. That's right. All right, let me just show you. So, my bill was $79.50. However, I have quite a few duplicates because I bought stuff for the party. So, as always, I'm going to dive right in and show you food first. But before we do that, hope everybody's having a great Memorial Day weekend. I know that song starts out with, it was Labor Day weekend, I was 17. Anyway, it's not. It's Memorial Day weekend, so fun weekend. I'm actually gone, but I have pre-recorded this for you. What isn't technology amazing? I know. All right, so let's dive right into food. Now, I have, in my, hold on, in my food stash for the next foodie fun day, because you know Mark's and I try food things, I have these, which are pretzel crisps, honey mustard. Well, then I walk in and I found buffalo wings, and I found spicy ranch, and I found garlic parmesan. I was like, wait, so I have four different flavors of these to try for you. So I grabbed those. They had regular too. I thought I grabbed the regular, I guess I didn't. Well, we don't need to, it's a pretzel, right? So these are those pretzel crisps, which are really fun. So we'll try those. We're gonna, we're gonna do a taste test, um, you know, as soon as I collect enough stuff. Speaking of which, I then found, by the way, can I just go back to these for just a second? But how cute and colorful are, are these? Like, this would be so fun. Oh my gosh, you guys. This should be so fun to do a food basket and put those bubbly drinks in it, which are very good. Well, the citrus ones. The bubbly drinks that are so colorful. You could make the cutest, colorful um, basket with these and those drinks. Mmm, one of these days... I'm just gonna make a bunch of food baskets. Maybe for Christmas this year. Maybe that's what I'll do for Christmas this year. Is make, I'm giving everybody socks for sock day. That was a lot of noise, I'm sorry. Maybe I should do Christmas basket, food basket. Speaking of cool things for baskets, and I'm thinking Easter baskets, even though that's past, but these are such Easter basket colors. Check these out. These are brand new, never seen these. They're called Waffle Bites. And they're, they, oh my gosh. They're filled with Belgian white chocolate. This one's filled with Belgian milk chocolate, and this one's just filled with Belgians. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Belgian dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate waffle bites. So they say there are waffle cone tips. Check that out. The best part 
of a waffle cone is the very last bite, that little tip, isn't it? Just the tip. Anybody? Sausage party. Okay, so that is like, so, oh, these look good. Anyway, we'll talk about them when we do them for Foodie Fun Day, but just to let you know, they are good until February of 26th, so there's that. I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, so waffle bites also go in the Foodie Fun Day Try Me basket. All right. So the whole reason I sang the barbecue song was if you watched my small but mighty haul, small but mighty haul on Tuesday of this week, I already hauled one bag of this. However, it was a different flavor. This one is basil, sage, and thyme. What was the other one? I don't know. It was a red bag. Doesn't matter. Anyway, I showed him to Marcus when he got home, and he's like, "Yeah, that's pretty cool." So we're taking him out to the property. We will be barbecue with blah blah blah. Blah, 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 blah. We'll be barbecuing with them probably while you're watching this. Anyway, so I'm super interested. But if nothing else, I'm thinking like how good is the campfire going to smell? So these are Kingsford flavor boosters with basil, sage, and oak wood thyme. And they are thyme-released, um, you know, um, briquettes. Shows it right there. Like there's the regular briquettes going in and there's the flavorful ones. Can you guys see that? I'm not sure you can see that actually. But anyway, there's, yeah. Okay, so they're obviously a different color as well. Um, also available in 100% real spice pellets. Hmm, interesting. So this is very cool. We're gonna try, and like I said, I'm thinking it's gonna smell amazing if nothing else, right? All right, moving right along. Had a barbecue stand on my white t-shirt. Okay, so um, let's go down like the health and beauty sock aisle. You know I love the sock aisle. Cause, because the things I find on the sock aisle are just phenomenal. So these are PEDS. I'm gonna show you something. Now, before I show you that, let me just talk about this package really quickly. This is a six pair of trousers socks. I'm, I'm gonna donate these to the women thing. And, um, but look at, they're so cool. They have all these really beautiful patterns. They're nice thin socks because they're trouser socks. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six pairs for a buck 25. Peds, can you believe it? Where does this stuff come from? I don't know. Anyway, super excited. I think what I'm gonna do is hold on to all my socks. And after sock day, if I have any left over that I didn't give away, I'm gonna go donate them to like a woman's shelter thing. Somebody told me once before what the one is where you donate professional clothing so i can't remember what it's called somebody send it to me again i'll write it down this time okay but then we go back to this one so this is also a good buy this is two pairs of trouser socks check out this cool little fishnet thing and here's what i wanted to show you like there's probably a price on the back of these two but i can't see it right now yeah it doesn't matter we know they're not a buck 25 right okay so this is i just want to give you guys some ideas all right so that's the pattern of the sock can you guys just look at some things, not for what it is, but what it, but for what it could be? That's what I told my first boyfriend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't look at me for, what could I be? So check that out. This is a jar. And by putting that over the jar, I mean, I could totally seal this off, whatever, and then throw a lighted candle thing in there. How cool would that look? Well, I'm going to make one for you when I, my next Jarganza. I'm so sorry, you guys. Jarganza is like so far behind. I've been doing so many challenges, so I've decided it's just, it's gonna come out soon. All right, so Jarganza 1's already out. Jarganza 2 is the uh, natural version. I had the black and white, which this would have been great in that. But anyway, this maybe this will go in novelty because I'm putting a sock over a jar. But you gotta admit, that's pretty cool. So just remember, you gotta look at some of these things and not for just, you know, yeah, I know it's a sock, but it could be so many other things. Also, this is black. It's a super cool pattern. It'd be really cool to use like on a Halloween thing. So lots of things. This, these I will actually, whatever I don't use on a jar, I'll throw it into my material like bin. And then these are just normal. So they'll just go. Although, again, they're very sheer. So you could certainly use them for Halloween stuff. Maybe I'll just put these in my Halloween stash. Maybe that's what I'll do with them. Probably. And these I'll donate. Okay. All right. Moving right along. Then I grabbed this scrunchie. So it's like faux leather, but I'm going to do this on camera for you guys. So Marks and I are now like Harley people. Yeah. I'm a rough Harley girl. <laughs> but 
I did just, you guys would be so excited. I got a Harley leather jacket, leather. Um, we went into a Harley store this last weekend and found a Harley jacket on clearance. Somebody must have returned it. It was a hundred dollars. It was normally like three twenty five. I was like, that is mine. And it fit. Okay. But I grabbed this one because it's sort of a faux leather, but I don't necessarily like the, um, the white that's around it. So when I do it, I'm going to flip it so that the white part is uh, towards the inside where the scrunchy thing is so that when I put it in my hair, I'll get, do you see that? I'll get the black part and not the white part. So it'll get the faux leather part. Can you guys see what, see what I'm doing there? Come on, work for me, work with me. Please work with me, you stinking thing. Well, it doesn't really want to, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do so that it's like on the inside, okay? Anyway, so I grabbed that for me because I have to pull my, obviously when we're on the bike, I have to pull my hair back. All right, then also on that like health and beauty aisle sort of, I found more of these and I was like, wait, what? Yeah, new colors. So before I've gotten these in the blue and the orange, and then I found this sort of aqua green, a white and a purple, like so cool. So I j just to show you, plus I use these, so they're not gonna go to waste. And I'm still thinking like I should send these off to the grandkids, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. And then I know some people have been finding Sesame Street stuff. So I've seen the sex Sesame Street whirl twirly whirly wind things. I haven't gotten any. But then I saw this and I was like, I'm getting that. So it's wet and wild and it says Ella's for lipstick. So I got this for Scarlet because it's a good Scarlet color there. But how cute is little Elmo on the lipstick? Yeah. And it's wet and wild. So you know it's not a buck 25. I don't know how much it is, but it's the only Sesame Street so far that I have found. And you know, because I'm on the West Coast in Arizona, I think sometimes it takes me a little bit longer to get some of the stuff. That they, I think they get it on the East Coast first. Not sure, that's just my guess, so I don't know. Elmo, Sesame Street. I, actually, you've, you're right, you've never seen Sesame Street. You would fit right in on Sesame Street, wouldn't he? Yeah, I'm thinking you and Oscar get along great. Okay, so grab that for Scarlet. Then I went down the, um, ba -da -da -da, like the school teacher, you know, the office stuff, and um, I grabbed these. I just had to because these are the cutest little miniatures. Now, why did I grab them? Because I keep doing little miniature houses. I did, what did I do? I did, um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I did a Halloween one that was super cool. Made it a two-story haunted Victorian. Then I did a Christmas one. And I did an Easter one. I didn't do a Valentine's, right? And I don't even know what I would do next. Maybe I'll do a fall one or something. A fall one would be perfect because look at these cute little balls I'm gonna throw in the yard. Yeah, like the kids are out there playing and they left their stuff out, right? So this is gonna go in my miniature box and I'll pull it out. I have, I can't use, I don't know what I'm gonna use the bowling pin for, like what? Yeah, don't know, don't need it. Um, but anyway, I was like, those are so cute. So grab that to throw into my miniatures. Then um, on the craft aisle, like I'm almost out. So I just grabbed two, I don't need an abundance. I just need to make sure I have enough if I decide I wanna make a basket. <laughs> Leave a basket, I don't know. So grab that. I did grab two of these. Um, I want I have a pillow that I want to make for Scarlet, which would be a video, but it is the um, it's the baby blanket that is dinosaurs, and I was gonna make her a pillow out of it because she's really into dinosaurs right now. 17. She's into dinosaurs. Well, I guess dinosaurs could be cute. Anyway, I just thought it'd be fun to make her a super cute little pillow, super easy, Dollar Tree baby blanket, make it into a pillow. So grabbed those two. Then um, they have this this jewelry stuff coming out. Now my jewelry making stand-up cardboard thing is basically empty. I mean, it was pretty empty. But I found these two things and I just couldn't resist. So these are little happy faces. I did see yellow ones, I didn't want those. By the way, did you know that the happy face came out in 1960s? I'm doing all this trivia stuff for our 50s, 60s party, so I've been reading all this trivia, uh, FYI. There you go. And then I just think these are so beautiful. These are the like the bracelets that were so po they're so popular, right? I can't remember what they're called. And you would go buy the different charms. But I want to use this on a DIY, and I'm not sure how or anything. But it's just gonna go into my stash. That's the only one they had. 
and I think they're beautiful, but if I found more, I would. Like, can you imagine making a beaded garland and putting this these in between the beads? Yes, right? Mm-hmm. So what I'm going to do with it, I'll probably make a beach garland and put those in between it. It'd be so pretty. Okay. Then in the garden section, um, this is a repeat buy, but I love this lantern. It's got such Asian flair to it. And so I grabbed one. Um, yeah, because I need it. No, I don't. But don't I have one on my... Oh, yeah, hold on. I'll show you what I made last time with one. This really simple boho decor piece. So this one doesn't work anymore, so I'm gonna, I should just switch it out. Maybe that's what I should do. I don't know, anyway, um, but it's super cool and it's kind of annoying that it doesn't work anymore. You know, they do that, they'll like work for a while and they don't work and it's like, why don't you work anymore? Because I'm broken, yeah. So maybe I'll just switch it out for this because I actually really like this piece. Super easy, very Asian inspired um, or boho, however you wanna go. Then, they have these new plastic colored ones. So there's also a blue and then I think of like a pink. I just grabbed the green because it's my favorite color, but I can just see this, you know, hanging in the yard somewhere or I don't know. Anyway, is it on? Do we have to turn it on? So we have to get it out of here. It pops right out just so you guys know. So it pops right out and there's our little string and then you have your little lantern. But I was thinking like you could put some stuff in here too, like some little jewels or something just to give it an extra little sparkle. So super cute. Okay, then two brand new home decor pieces. Now these are very beautiful, but I, I do want to upscale with them um, because they look like they're basket or rattan or rope or something. This one definitely looks like rope, but they're just this off white. So you know I'm gonna play with them. And I'm going to give them a lid and I'm going to pop some cork in the bottom of them so that they're a trinket jar that you can drop stuff into them. But um, they're just they're just nice little pieces. And so I grabbed those to show you and I will upscale them. Um, be like on a totally easy Tuesday. If I ever get back to my videos because I'm doing so many challenges right now, right? Are you guys watching all my challenges? No, no, that has not been. No, Evingham. If there were a cow challenge, I would absolutely do it, but I just have it. Well, they have farmhouse, yeah. We Okay, I, I promise. I'm going to do some more farmhouse just for you, Effingham. All right, isn't this pretty? Maybe I already bought it. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. I love it. So beautiful. So it reminds me of the blue that I did the, um, the tray just a few weeks ago, and this is just so pretty, but these are individual pieces, so you can, you know, put them on a wall or on a decorative piece or something. Just be super beautiful. Love that blue. Then they have some new magnets out. And I was like, what? Now, I did not buy them all. I just bought two. But there are definitely more than just these two. But I was like, these are so pretty. I'm going to show you here in a minute how you can use them on a sign and not as a magnet. Although a magnet is great. And they do have lots of... Does it work on galvanized? Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I just thought these were pretty. This one says John 316. Look at the colors. Keep telling you guys. And this one is for we live by faith, not by sight. Second Corinthians 5, 7. I loved both of those. So I grabbed two of those to put in my cross stash. Yes, I have a cross stash. Then for Father's Day, how cute are these? I mean, I was like, so they have like two other colors. I just grabbed the black one. Dad helps to build the perfect memories. And I'm thinking it would be so cute to make this a picture frame, put it on a picture frame, which maybe I'll do. I'm doing a picture frame collab on the 30th of this month. I gotta get busy on that, don't I? Yeah. Anyway, so it'd be super cute to put on a dad, it on a picture frame and put a picture of dad in it. Like so easy, so simple and so cute. So there's that, an idea for you. All right, then they have, boy, I'm, going, I'm getting through this uh, pretty fast here, this little haul, huh? I'm getting quicker at this. Brand new pieces. What, I know, brand new. So check these out. They are the, what do you call this stuff? I don't know. Yeah, that stuff. The plank board. It's planked, right? So they have that, sh a square shape, sort of a, I don't know what kind of shape that is, and then a heart shape. So three different shapes of these. I love them. I think they're very cool. There's so many ideas, but just as a for instance, see, you could put, probably not on that one, doesn't appear to fit. 
but you could certainly put the cross on this and put some beautiful greenery, green, greenery. Oh my gosh. I've been doing so many videos all day today. That's why. So, so put some greenery on there and make a really beautiful sign. Um, so just as an idea. Okay. So those are brand new. I love them. I only got one of each because I do not need any more. I didn't even need these. Yeah. Okay. But that enough about that. <laughs> then I found some stuff for the birthday party. And this is where I really got into the multiples. I think I bought four packages of these. So flamingos, like I said, in the 19, no, was it? Uh, Happy Faces was the 1960s. In the 1950s, the flamingo, the pink flamingo thing came out. Some artist painted one that became popular, blah, 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 blah. So flamingos is part of what our 50s, 60s party will have in it. And so keeping with that, I, I got four of these. I think I got five or six of these. Let's flamingo. And then I think I got a dozen of these. <laughs> and they're rolling all over the yard. So for that party, what I'm doing is I'm going to make little placards that give little little history about certain things so like there'll be one about flamingos and why the flamingos in the yard and the pink flamingo and where it came from so i'm doing all this information stuff that'll be on the stuff at outside in our, in our decorative don't worry i'll give you a video of it when it's all done all right i got one book i was like wait what do you guys anybody out there watch Bridger, Brid, bridgerton i think th i think season three just came out i really like it i haven't watched season three yet but i did watch season one and two so this was 21.99 Mm. And this is the unofficial Bridgerton cookbook from the Viscounts Mushroom Miniatures and the Royal Wedding Oysters to Debutante Punch and the Duke's Favorite Gooseberry Pie. 100 Dazzling Recipes Inspired by Bridgerton. So look at the inside. Isn't that beautiful? It makes me want to just rip the cover off and make it a decorative book thing, but I'm not going to. But it's full of like beautiful photos too. And then... Um, there's like, this is a royal start to the day, chapter one, and it goes through, look at those biscuits. Oh, this is a really pretty book. Um, so there's all kinds of fun recipes in here. I feel like if somebody had like a themed wedding, wouldn't this be a great, great gift to give? Anyway, so I mean, a buck 25 and it was regularly $21.99. You just can't beat the books that you can find at the Dollar Tree. Anything else spectacular in here? Look, the front and the back though, I do love that. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And just beautiful, beautiful pictures in here of food. Okay, then I've saved my favorite things for last because you know that's what I do. So this is in, the, oh my gosh, I did buy one thing that wasn't a buck 25. I lied, you guys, I lied. One item was not a buck 25. One item. And that, I don't even, see, why do I not see it on here? Hmm. Anyway, because it was, oh, there it is, $5. This was $5. And I was like, yeah, I'm getting that. So it was in their Dollar Tree Plus section, but it is a plastic two-stack rack. And now I only got one because I want to make sure that it's good before, before I buy any more. But I, what I want these for is under the bathroom sinks, right? Because I, right now I just, yeah, it's just a mess in there and I'm trying to over-organize absolutely everything. So I grabbed one. Hopefully it'll work. I'll let you guys know. And if it does, I will buy another one for the other bathroom sink. And we'll see. So I don't even know how much these are online, but that seemed like a pretty good buy. And, and it doesn't seem to be cheap plastic. Like this seems to be a good sturdy plastic. So we'll see. All right. So here are my, which by the way, is it just, yeah, it's distributed by Greenbrier. So it is a Dollar Tree thing. I mean, I'm assuming even in the Dollar Tree Plus section, they'll get stuff that isn't Dollar Tree, right? They'll get stuff that's higher from something else, you know, whatever. All right. So I have two, two new items that I think are just, I love them. One of them is a solar light. Check this out. Check this out. It's like a modern path light. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this. Love, love, love this. So it's just a solid, like, anyway, I love it. So, so just very modern looking. I only bought two because I'm going to put them outside and see how they are and how many solar lights do I really need anyway. I mean, honestly. Okay, so I grabbed two of those. I love that this is a brand new style, super cool, great inside of, you know, a potted plant even, right? Or a walkway is what I was thinking. They're like walkway lights. So we'll see how bright those are because I don't know yet, but we'll look at them. And do I have to turn it on, I'm assuming? Yeah, so it's got the paper on it. 
Come on, let's just do it. Is it charged? It is. So can you guys see it there? So I don't know how bright that'll be at night. We'll find out. And then the newest item, which I'm like, why did I not buy more? Because I'm only buying one of everything because I don't need any more of anything. But these are so cool. And I get them, I'm unpacking them to do the haul. And I was like thinking of like a thousand things I could use them for. So let me give you some of those things. Let me give you some ideas. So these are them. They're so cute. They're candle holders. They're like, you know, a single for a, a candle stick. So we have the, just the straight clear one. Then we have the one that's like, isn't it like milk glass with the little bumps on it? And then the ridged one. Now, I'm gonna give you some ideas. So first of all, like if you got two of the same ones, it's a great riser for a tear tray, okay? Put two of them together. And then, I mean, I guess they don't have to be the same, but yeah, you know, but put two together and you've got a riser for a tear tray. But my, probably my favorite idea, well, first of all, you can put eggs at Easter time, nice decorative egg on top of there. But I think my favorite idea is for Christmas trees. Like how pretty will it be to put a really beautiful bottle brush, Christmas, bottle brush Christmas tree on it or um, or just any, any sort of little miniature Christmas tree. It's just gonna look so pretty. And then you can take miniature presents and sort of glue it around the bottom as well. It'd be really sweet tear tray stuff, right? Um, and then also I was just like, when you go this way, it almost looks like a miniature table, but you can use it as a miniature riser. So I don't have any miniature things in here right now, but on a tear tray, put it this way and use it as a miniature riser for say a votive candle or, a, or a, um, you know, the glass, the tea light candle holders would fit on here perfectly. So lots of fabulous ideas for these things. And that's, I mean, I'm sure there's more I could come up with if I really thought about it. I just haven't yet. So Anyway, I love these. I found three, and I think that is what there is, is the three patterns. So we have the clear, the milky glass, and then like the ridged. So, yes, I know. I'm like, ah, oh, I love these. Okay, so, and especially this one, I just see it like with, you know, um, a Christmas tree in it. I don't know why. I just, although it was a riser, it's really cool too. Anyway, they're all really cool. That's my favorite find this week was those and the solar lights. All right. Hey, that's it. That is my haul for this week, you guys. So, Effingham, what'd you think? <laughs> nothing for cows. I got absolutely nothing for cows. You are correct. Oh, my God. That's, you're, Effingham, you kill me. All right. So, please tell me down in the comments below, is there something you're going to be looking for? Because I'm pretty sure it's those little risers, right? Those little candle holder glass things I just showed you. Um, anyway, and so, if you would do me the honor of giving me a thumbs up right now or hit your ride to the very next video, because that'll just be popping up here soon, um, leave a comment down below. What's the one thing that you're going to be looking for? Because I'm pretty sure you're going to be looking for something. Is it these? Because these sound really good, but they're bad for you. But they sound good, but they're bad for you. But mm, yeah. Is it the Kingsford? Because you guys, this is not sharing. Look this up. These are not above 25. I know they're not. Or I mean the amazing buy on the socks. There's so many cool things. So I'm in love with the new, the new lights. I'm so happy I found my flamingos. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Um, did I already say have a great day, a great week, a great life? And if you really like me, consider subscribing. And from your singing crafty crafter, I got a barbecue stain on my white t-shirt. I was walking the aisles of my Dollar Tree. And I saw him fought there in the in the on the at the register line. <laughs> you guys, tell me it is at least entertaining. You want to hear what I'm gonna throw in there at the end of the video. I just kept on the fly. I, yeah, if I thought about it, they'd probably be better, but it's on the fly. All right. So, um, everybody, ha from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Toodles. We'll see you next time here on Bella's Bargains. Thanks for watching. Don't forget. And here's some videos you might want to watch. Toodles. Effingham, say goodbye. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.